It's been a little while since Fortnite Season 4 has been released, and I bet you didn't know there are a ton of new Marvel skins coming soon that are hinted at by tiny little Easter eggs in game. There's also something hidden on the Heli Carrier Spawn Island that 99% of players missed. These are 15 Fortnite Season 4 secrets. We'd appreciate it if you could use code T5G when buying the Season 4 Battle Pass. It helps a lot more than you know, but without further ado, Number 15, Secret Versions of Battle Pass Skins. So if you've taken a glance at the Battle Pass of the season like most normal people do, you might have noticed that a lot of the Marvel skins actually show the unlockable styles text when you view them. Although there's a problem there because you actually can't preview the unlockable styles. It's a little weird, I know, but there are some secret variants for these Battle Pass skins that I'd love to show you guys. If you head to one of the tabs in the Battle Pass lobby, you could actually see a list of variants nicknamed Foils. These are different color types for the Marvel skins, and you get a new foil every five levels past tier 100. It begins with getting silver foils for each skin, and then you move on to gold versions of each skin, and lastly, you could work your way through the hollow versions. The hollow versions are pretty cool, and they go all the way up until Hollow Wolverine at level 220. So yeah, I'm gonna be in the top five gaming discord, link below in the description, uh, grinding for that hollow Wolverine skin if any of you guys wanna join me. But on to number 14, Marvel skin secret abilities. Speaking of hidden features in the battle pass, if you've equipped yourself with one of the new Marvel skins and walked around in game, you probably noticed that one of the emotes on your emote wheel was locked. When you view it, it tells you to first complete the awakening challenges. This is the case for all the skins in the battle pass, with each skin having its own tiny set of challenges to unlock the outfit's special ability. Each skin has their own ability, with some of them being absolutely insane. All right, get this, completing both She-Hulk and Iron Man's challenges will let you switch between the two forms whenever you want. For Doctor Doom, his ability is sitting on his throne, while Storm just has a really cool emote where she lights up and levitates. Groot has a secret ability to summon Rocket Raccoon as his pet and have him follow you around. You then unlock him as a pet. But for Mystique, she probably has the most interesting emote in Fortnite history. Once unlocked, Mystique will actually steal the skin of any player you eliminate in game. The disguise does turn off after a bit, but you could just do the emote again. It's pretty cool. Number 13, the Heli Carrier Secret. When we saw the Heli Carrier in the trailer for season four, let's be honest, we all thought it was gonna be a huge POI flying above the map. And while I wish it was true, we all logged in to find out that it wasn't. Unfortunately, the Heli Carrier is simply just a spawn island for this season, or is it? There's a hidden secret on the Heli Carrier that says otherwise. You can find a secret vault inside of the carrier, which actually has a key card access to it. This paired with the fact that you could even see the skins landing on top of the Heli Carrier in the season four trailer is undeniable proof that we might be getting it as a fully functioning POI later in the season. So make sure you get used to it and learn the layout of this place so you're fully prepared once it flies over the Fortnite Island, if it ever does. My little theory, I think it might crash onto the island, but hey, we'll see what happens. Number 12, Thor's hammer is only for the worthy. In season four, a lot of us unlocked the battle pass and were shocked that Thor's own hammer wasn't a pickaxe. After all, it was a huge part of the buildup to the season, so why couldn't we get it? Well, it turns out that you were able to grab the pickaxe from the meteor south of Salty Springs and it would actually unlock permanently. Although the secret here is that you actually cannot use Thor's pickaxe on any skin except for Thor and Captain America. Yep, it seems these two are the only ones worthy even in Fortnite's universe. Maybe other skins in the future may become worthy of wielding the hammer, but I doubt it. It sucks too, to be honest. I mean, I really love this pickaxe and it's really unfortunate we can only use it on these two skins. And a funny little Easter egg, if you use the hammer on any other skin, it just shows as the default pickaxe. Gross. Number 11, Spider-Man, Venom, Daredevil, and more. Yep, you heard me right. The superhero we were all hoping would come might actually make his arrival in Fortnite later this season. Not gonna lie, I've been crossing my fingers we get a Spider-Man skin in the game and it looks like Epic might be making our dreams a possibility. In season four, there's an achievement with the Spider-Man logo as the image, which is just a massive tease. It's not the only thing Epic are teasing as you can get an achievement called It's Clobberin' Time, which is obviously a reference to The Thing from Fantastic Four. We've also been getting Fortnite versions of comic book covers for skins in season four, which makes it interesting that this exists. It was also shared by Tabor Hill and it includes Venom, Daredevil, Blade, and Ghost Rider. That on top of a Panther POI in the files for Black Panther, yeah, we're looking at a really insane season. Number 10, the new Sphere POI. 
If you've been roaming around the map this season, you might have noticed a familiar sight on the island. Some new star contraptions can be found on the top right of the island, and they look just like the rift beacons from Season X. That's because they are rift beacons. There are a total of 15 rift beacons around the map right now, and when you connect them together, you actually get a huge circle in the top right of the map. That's a massive circle. Later in the season, these rift beacons will be making a big green force field and eventually summon a massive new POI. What's it gonna be? We have no idea, but just imagine how big it's gonna be. Number 9, The Lonely Henchman In a mysterious turn for Season 4, almost every single POI on the map which had henchmen before has been completely abandoned. There is barely any trace left of Ghost or Shadow, with the Authority and everyone in it left entirely deserted. But there is a secret Shadow henchman over at the Authority who walks around, sits down, does some thinking, and spends some time crying at the photo on the table of Brutus. There's also Brutus' helmet on the table, I guess this kind of confirms that Brutus is dead, but I wonder how that happened and where everyone has gone. There is also a henchman inside the flower shop at Retail Row, just chilling, eating popcorn, watching television, although be careful, bump into these guys and they turn hostile really quick. Number 8, The Baby Groot Secret There is a secret Baby Groot backbling that you can find on the Fortnite Island, and you can start by heading over to Holly Hedges. Landing here and heading over to the garden center will lead you to a weird site in the middle of some plants. You'll quickly notice that yes, it is indeed a sapling version of Groot, sat in his own plant pot and dancing. I was hoping we get some kind of baby Groot this season, and this secret back bling is all yours if you want it. It's not part of Groot's awakening challenges either, but instead a separate secret challenge, so get it while you can. Number 7, The Sentinel Graveyard Secret one of the unmarked POIs of the season is a place named Sentinel Graveyard, and it's obviously a graveyard for sentinels, what, can you not put that together? Okay, actually though, these guys are just laying on the mountain waiting for you to loot them, and while it's a pretty weird drop, it pays off. In fact, they can be great for mobility for a secret reason. Some of the arms that you can find around the map still have power running to them, and if you jump on the palms of the hands, you'll be launched into the air. Kinda works just like a geyser from Season 8, and is great for rotating and mobility, especially with launch pads now being vaulted. Keep it in the back of your head next time you need to escape the storm. Trust me, it'll help you out. Number 6, Fishing Secrets With the Marvel theme of Season 4, you wouldn't exactly expect a major feature to be fishing, but it is. This season, a massive fishing revamp has happened with a fishing book in your menu, measurements of each fish, leaderboards, and more. But with 39 different kinds of fish to catch, you might be wondering if there are any tricks. Well, for higher rarity fish, you can go to an upgrade station and actually upgrade your regular fishing rod to a pro fishing rod. This will give you higher rarity fish for everything you catch and really improve your inventory. It's almost a no-brainer for any of you fishing enthusiasts, if that's a thing out there right now. Another secret is that when it comes to the fish, some of their abilities actually end up stacking. That means you can eat fish and the ability it gives you, like speed or low gravity, will stack the more you eat it and combine. Trust me, it's a pretty neat secret to think about. Number 5, Galactus One of the coolest secrets on the map right now isn't even on the island itself. Instead of looking around, look up instead. You might be able to make out a small bright light in the sky, and it turns out that this bright light is actually Galactus himself. He is getting closer and closer to the island, and he's going to show up bigger and bigger as the season progresses. I was actually really hoping we'd see this actually, and I'm glad Epic are doing it. And as he gets closer to the map, we get closer to full out war. The Nexus War, and I can't wait. Number 4, Stark Bots. One of the coolest things this season is the replacement of the Marauders. These guys have been replaced with a new group of guys around the map. When you're on the battle bus, the first thing you see are four Quinjets fly past you and land at random spots around the map. These Quinjets can be visited, and the Stark Bots inhabiting the area will begin to fire at you, kind of like Stormtroopers from the Star Wars event. But there is a catch, and it's a little secret. If you down one of the bots, you could actually hack them and they will become friendly and even help you shoot enemy players. Pro tip, if you want to set up camp here, you could hack every single bot there and set up a perfect trap for your enemies. But moving on to number 3, we have a secret transmission on the heli carrier. Some smart players have gone into Battle Lab, gotten a ton of materials, and actually built their way over to the heli carrier outside of the island. Because it's not a POI yet, some players assume there will be secrets on the Battle Lab version of the heli carrier. Surprise, surprise, there was. On the carrier, there is a secret transmission playing through the monitors. Let's take a listen. The 
so yeah, it's kind of hard to make out what's being said, but if this transmission is playing once the heli carrier becomes a POI, it's likely storyline related and I'm interested to see and hear more. Coming in at number two, we have Tony Stark's whiteboard. There are a few Iron Man related secrets this season, with one of them being his workshop over at Frenzy Farm. What was a house before with some decent chess pawns is now a barn with various CCTV, monitors, and a whiteboard. On the whiteboard, Tony has drafted up his plans, from the rift beacons to hints of a wormhole. Looks like he might just try to send Galactus through the black hole from chapter one, but that's just my theory. In the trailer for season four, there's also a tech station Iron Man uses, which is yet to be added in the game. I wonder what this will do when it comes out. I'm pretty intrigued. And finally, our number one spot, the coral people are back. The last time we saw these guys, they launched a rocket into space and then detonated a nuke, which wiped out most of their civilization. Unfortunately, you can now find them back in season four as survivors of a destroyed city. Some of the coral people now have cybernetic enhancements. I mean, maybe we'll see like a cyberpunk version of the coral people in the future. That would be freaking awesome. But hey, click on screen right now to check out this video. This has been Tommy and you're watching Top 5 Gaming.